Hey everybody, I'm Michael Gall from Michael Gall Productions. Today we're going to talk about something that not a lot of guitar players talk about, and that's the guitar pick. You know, they say it's not the size of the pick, it's how you play it. You know, that's not true. Don't get laughed at behind your back. Take this thing, throw it away, get yourself a real guitar pick. Something that will bring you the monster tone that you've been searching for your entire life. So let's go down this journey, and I'm going to tell you about why Jaquetto picks are my favorite picks to use when I play guitar. About four months ago, I did a video about this pick right here from Jaquetto that I got. Not Geppetto, not the father of Pinocchio, but Jaquetto. J-A-K-E-T-T-O. They're a pick company from Australia. And when I got this pick, I fell in love with it. It, it just feels perfect. I mean, it's got this perfect fit, perfect bevel on the end of it that just kind of glides across the strings. And I'm going to come at this from a different perspective. A lot of people that do the videos that I see on there about Chiquetto picks or other boutique picks, you know, they're really showing their soloing side. You know, they're doing arpeggio, sweep picking, all their different riffs. And these are amazing for this. With the thickness of the pick and the bevel, it just slides across the strings, especially for sweet picking and playing fast. But I'm not a lead player. Instead of being like Angus Young or Kirk Hammett, I've always been more like James Hetfield and Malcolm Young. I love writing riffs. Always been kind of a rhythm player. I can play lead, but I'm more bluesy. I'm actually working on Durling to learn to do some shred. But I wanted to show you my perspective of why this pick might be a good pick for you. This thing gets perfect mid-range tone. And as you can hear, it hits per pinch harmonic perfectly. No problems with doing that. So I'm going to go through a couple of these picks here and tell you why this might be a good pick for you and give you the different styles that they have and what might be the best one for you. So let me show you the different picks that they make. Okay, now we're going to talk about the different style of picks. If you're into kind of that smaller pick like uh, Kirk Hammett plays, where it's kind of that tiny little green heart-shaped pick, this would be the perfect pick for you. It's the Mini Osprey. It's just a miniature version of like their Falcon, which I'm going to show you next. And this guitar is perfect if you're really into that kind of grip where you're encompassing the whole entire pick. You get this kind of like feel where your fingers are right. Right there by that note where no matter what, you're going to kind of hit that pinch harmonic because your thumb can't be. Your thumb's just right there, right below it. Then this is the perfect pick for you. If you're someone who would play what would be comparable, I could say like the Dunlop grip pick that they have. I used to play those a while back. This would be the perfect pick for you. This is called the Falcon. It's just kind of the same size as what a traditional pick that you've always kind of known is. But it's thicker. Got that perfect bevel. Fits right in the hand perfectly. It gives you just great mid-range on that. You get those chugs. And... and this is kind of the pick that I played a lot. When I first started getting, I had gotten a couple Falcons. That was kind of what I was playing, and I hadn't branched out yet. Next, I got a Mini Osprey, which I just showed you before. And then the third pick that I got, that's a lot like the Falcon, and I really love it. And if you're a traditional pick player, this one would also fit in that category. It's called the Hellwing. Same as the Falcon, but there's just a little wing that's right there. And once again, it's got the perfect bevel, but it's got a little more kind of meat in the hand when you're doing kind of this... feel really comfortable playing this. I love this pick. It's really kind of now become one of my favorites, and I've ordered more of them. I've gotten like three or four. As you can see here, my collection has expanded quite quite large from where it started. But uh, I'm going to show you the fourth pick, which is just a lot different. It's kind of different. It's a triangle pick. And it's called, I might get this name wrong, but it's called the Serbius, I believe. And it's a larger kind of triangle pick. And this is a signature pick for an artist named Connor McRae. This isn't always up there. I found this one when they first listed and talked about it and bought it. And 
I love this pick also because this really is like it just it gives a feel to the pick. You know, you kind of it kind of enhances your playing a little bit because you know where it's at. It's not slipping out of your hand. It's just a Great. It actually gives me kind of a darker tone. And it's hard to tell because you know if you're playing a lot of like right now I'm using an amp plugin that has like the STL t- amp hub. So you know you get really high gain stuff and you'd hear like you know it's not going to be the pick at all. It's the amps. But it does add. Especially if you're playing something cleaner you can hear that darker like deeper mid tone. And each pick different size has a different tone. Like I'm a probably 4 to 7 player millimeter is what I'm in. The other guitar player in the band, he plays 10 millimeters. He loves like, well, 8 to 10 kind of in there. They don't always have 10 millimeters. They usually go, they're usually in that sweet range of 4 to 8, but sometimes they come up with a 9 or 9.5 and still waiting on the 10. But this pick is perfect. It's While it is a triangle, it's not able to play on all three sides. These two sides are still thicker and you still just have the one bevel that's on the bottom. But a great, great pick. The fifth one, which is a lot different and a lot weirder for people. I guess from what the owner Jack had said that this started off as a joke originally. And this pick right here is called the Amagadala. I believe Amagadala, I think is the name of it, or Amadigala. Naga. Naga. Not going to work here anymore anyway. <laughs> it's I call it the Master Built. It's just like, a, that's one of the names. I'm a Godala Master Built pick. This is their most expensive pick, but it's got this unique, like, large, different edge on it. And each one has a different one. There's some that have a thicker edge, some have a longer one. And this pick, at first, I thought it was going to get weird to get used to. But I play it like this, where I have this running down the side of my finger... And it just... It's really kind of comfortable to play. I can't describe it. It took me a couple seconds to get used to it. Not a couple seconds, but a couple days. But the other guitar player in the band, that's the lead player that does the sweeps, he loves these picks. He's got three of these. And he primarily plays these ones. He's just really into them. Because they're really, really, you could tell, they're really, really well built. That custom bevel, that bevel on the end of this is incredible. And it's just fun to play. And it looks awesome. It's actually a conversation starter. When people see me playing this, they're like, what the hell kind of pick is that? And then I got to go into it. But that's the, really the five ones you're going to see up there. They have some other ones, but there's... Primarily those five are usually around there, with the Serviettes being the least likely to see on there, but the other four are always up there. So next we're going to get into what these cost. All right, now we're going to talk about pricing on these. My light keeps flickering kind of crazy, so it's kind of you'll kind of see it flash in there, but that's okay. The Mini Osprey usually runs anywhere between like 26 is usually the price it's around that. It's around 26 27 but they go up as high as I've seen, 40 41 If it's specialty one, a different one, they do like a gold sparkle one. Those go up a little bit more. And the Falcon right here, that's around the exact same price as the Mini Osprey. Usually it goes uh, anywhere between 26 to 40 somewhere in there. I love that one. Now the Hellwing... They're more in the 30 to 40 range. I've seen a couple in the 20s that they sell them. If you see one, pick it up because that's a great deal on these. But they're usually right around kind of 30 to $40 mark. You can see on the website, I'm going to put a link below to the website so you can actually go and look and see the prices for yourself. I'm just telling you what I paid on these. This one, the Serbius, this is kind of a specialty pick because it is a signature artist one for them. And this one I believe I paid 35 for. And this one, that's I feel like that's a pretty good deal, especially for what you're getting in this guitar pick. So this seems to be right in between what would be the Falcon, like Hellwing kind of thing. And the last one that I have here, which is the most expensive, is the Amagadala one. And this one, these range between 60 to, I've seen them go as high as like 
80, 85. And uh, I think I paid 70 for this one. As a matter of fact, I didn't pay 70. I got this at twice a year. They do a half price sale. And I got this one for like 34, which was an amazing deal. But the other ones I bought and the ones my friend bought were right around 70 and 80. So it's kind of in that range. And you know, I know maybe you have a significant other and they're going to look at you and you're going to say, hey, I ordered this pick. It's $40. And they may say, you know, why the hell would you buy a pick that's 40 bucks? And my answer to that would be, you know, you just tell them to pack their bags and get out because you don't need that kind of negativity in your life. It's all about enjoying playing and loving these. These picks are amazing, and they're my choice. I mean, you could go around and check a lot of other ones, but I highly recommend these. It, Jack and Taylor, who do this, are they're just phenomenal. Like, you know, they send me images. Like, as soon as the picks are done, they finish them up and do their QC check and stuff like that. They'll send you a video on your Instagram showing you the picks, saying, hey, we're going to ship them out. They're really up to date on telling you everything that's going on. And I'm in the United States. They ship from Australia. I usually order two at a time because when I order two at a time, it's, it's usually about 52 bucks, maybe 50, 60 bucks, or if I get Amagadala. One, it goes up higher, but shipping is usually about six bucks. And I'm not 100% positive. You have to check on the website because I have ordered before over $100. And I think shipping was free on that, but definitely check the website on that. And uh, it's just, I did this video out of my own. I have no sponsorship by them, no nothing. I buy all these picks. I mean, it's a great company, and I never thought something like a guitar pick was just going to kind of change the way I play. But this really does, and I love them. So, you know, I want to make this video why I enjoy them, and maybe you would like to try it. So we're going to get to this last part of this video right now. All right, so I had to stop filming there and uh, fix my light because it kept flashing and I realized the batteries were low, so I plugged it in. This is the last part of the video. Just to give someone a chance because I'd like to see someone try this out. This pick right here, which is one of my personal collection that I bought. It's a Falcon. It's about a 4.5 to 5, which would be one of those thinner, but kind of perfect. I'm going to give this guitar pick away to someone. You don't have to subscribe. All you have to do is just give a comment in the section, like whether it's a thumbs up in the comment thing so I can see a name. We'll draw a winner out of that. We're going to do it at the end of the month of July. I don't get a ton of views on these things, so if you comment, there's a good chance you could win in there. That would be a, that would be a good chance, and hopefully it's somewhere where I can ship, which I know USA, Canada, Australia, all there could get there. And then... uh. Yeah, I'm going to give this beautiful pick away to someone. So, you know, it's a nice little, with shipping, probably $35 value. I'm going to ship it. I'm going to pay all the fees. If someone contacts you saying, hey, all you have to do is pay shipping you one, don't believe that. I'm going to contact you personally. It'll be for me. And then uh, I'm going to ship it out to you with the cost on me. And it'll come in one of these little, let me look here, these little bags, a Jaquetto bag. So it'll give someone out there a chance to try to play one. Maybe you have one and you're trying to win another one. That would be perfect. And uh, looking forward to seeing what people think of these and seeing other people's reactions. If they have one, comment below. I will point out today that the guitar that I used is my Axel Badwater. This is, I love this guitar. This guitar is, was it? cheap made guitar back in the day they made them for like 250 bucks they sold new and i'm an idiot and put like 500 dollars worth into it because i love the body i added the demarzio pickups the inlays the locking tuners the bone nut all the different stuff because i just like the way the carvings in this body looked and i was like ah, eh, i'm gonna upgrade it because what the hell it's still worth 200 bucks to anyone that wants to buy it but to me it means a lot and i love playing it so that's kind of the thing. And also, I want to throw out there, I do have merch for sale at an Amazon store that has kind of on here. So, you know, pick up one of these shirts and, you know, your friends will be in wonder when they look at your shirt and say, uh, who the hell is Michael Gall? And you could say, uh, it's just some guy on YouTube that talks about guitar picks. And uh, they'll probably be overwhelmed with excitement. So, uh, like I said, comment below. Pick someone out send this pick out to them and uh you guys have a 
good evening because it's evening here right now and uh i'll talk to you soon i'm gonna have a bunch more backing tracks coming up if you follow the channel i really like recording backing tracks for people to lead over and i have about 58 of them up there now i have some of my original songs that i've done videos and some cover songs that i've done and uh, a couple other reviews of different things that i have and a couple comedy parody videos that i've done for no reason whatsoever just uh be like what the hell I was bored, so... Alright, I hope you guys win this. Someone wins this. Someone that plays and enjoys it. Uh, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Alright, bye.